All right then, so we have our React app up and running, but at the minute we're only showing this one component. This is the only component being rendered to the DOM, and that is the app.js file right here, this component. And this is known as a root component in React. And a root component is the mother of all components that sits at the top of our application structure. So typically React apps have one root component which is always rendered to the DOM. And in our case, that is app.js here. It sits at the top of the tree. Now, every time someone visits our application, this root component is rendered. Then, if we want to show different components, then we can nest them inside that root component. And we could switch these components in and out dependent on the user's behavior on the website. Now, when a component sits inside another component like that, we say that that component is nested in it. The navbar component is nested inside the app component. So let's have a look in the code exactly how we can nest a component. All right then, so what I'd like to do is create a new component and then nest that component inside this root app component right here. So first of all, let's create a file for that new component in source. I'm gonna call this ninjas.js and we wanna create our new component in this file. But first of all, let's just have a look at how this component was created. Very similar to how we created them in the first few lessons. We're saying here, class app extends component. Now, before when we created them, we said react.component when we just added the React library into the HTML file. But we don't need to do that anymore because what we're doing at the top here is we're importing React, but also component from the React library as well. So we can just say class app extends component because of that import. And that's gonna do exactly the same thing. So first of all, let's copy this import right here. Whenever we create a class based component, we're gonna to need to import these two things, react and component, all right? So then down here, let's create that class based component. I'm gonna call this ninjas and it's extends component, like so. Okay, so inside we need that render method and that render method returns a JSX template. So I'll do a div first of all and give this a class name of ninja and let's do that again. Okay, that works. And inside another series of divs, one for the name, one for the age and one for the belt. So first of all, a div for the name. The name is gonna be Ryu. And then after that, we'll do another div, this one for the age. So age is gonna be 30. And then finally, one for the belt color, so div, and then belt is gonna be black, like so. All right, so we've created that class. Now we need to export it because we want to import it into this component and then nest it. So at the bottom, export, default, and then ninjas, which is the name of that class. So now we've created the component and we've exported it at the bottom. So what we could do is import that component into this file and then we can nest that component inside this template. So let's import it first of all. It's called ninjas, so we'll import ninjas from, and then in quotations, it's dot forward slash, that means this current directory, since we're in the same directory right here, then the name of the file, which is ninjas. The import is clever enough to figure that out. Okay, so we've imported that component, now we can nest it inside this component. But how do we do that? What do we do? Do we just write ninjas like that? Well, no, but it's pretty simple. We just need ninjas in a tag, like so. We output it as if it was an HTML element, exactly as we write it right here. Self-closing as well, okay? So now that is gonna take the template from this component and it's gonna nest it right here like so. So if we save that, we should see it on the screen. We see that component right here is nested inside the root component and it's being rendered now to the DOM. Okay, cool, so that's how we nest a component. But why did we need to do that in the first place? Why did we need a new component to nest? Why couldn't we have just added all of that code directly here instead? Well, the idea of different components is that we're keeping our code more modular. And that component, ninjas.js, it may have its own state and methods at some point, which we don't want to muddle up with the state or methods of this component. And also, if we wanted to, we could reuse this component and nest it in different places later on as well. 
So that's how we nest the component. Now, it would be nice to make the content inside this component more dynamic and not just hard coded like that. So to do that, we'll use props and I'll explain those in the very next video.